What's up, Vlogging Pilots? Vlogging Poncho here. Today is March 22nd, 2024. Don't remember where to look on this camera. Uh, I'm out in the wood shop again today. It's a Friday, and uh, I'm pretty happy about that. It's been a long week, so let me tell you what kind of project I'm working on right now. Okay, so picture this. Those of you who are uh, in your mid to late 20s will probably be able to picture this in your mind. And if you're younger, you might have seen it on TV. You're at a bar. It's like one of those old fashioned, like English style bars. Maybe more of like a classic Americana type bar. But you have, you look behind the bartender on that wall of liquor. What does that wall look like? It's got probably a dark wood. It's probably got brass fittings. And it's probably got a mirror behind the liquor. That not only makes the room look bigger, it also makes the shelf look more impressive, like there's more liquor there because you see the reflection of the bottles. And the brass fittings and stuff are kind of naturally uh, bio, what's the word? They, they kill antibacterial. They're kind of naturally antibacterial. A brass doorknob will sanitize itself about, for about, after about 24 hours of not being touched. So that's just not a hospital environment for bacteria. That and a real dark wood, those three things together to me really say old fashioned bar. So I'm gonna make one of those in miniature. So I have a bunch of those little shooter bottles that are like this big uh, of different kinds of alcohols, you know, whiskeys and vodkas and rums and whatever. I've got all kinds of different nice looking bottles. You know, I've got the classic like Jim Beam, Jack Daniels type like square bottles. I've got like the Crown Royal that's got a different shape. You know, there's some like round vodkas and I got like a little Bailey's, all kinds of different shapes and colors and such. Try and make it visually interesting. And then I'm thinking behind that, I'm going to put this mirror right here. And the, the plan is to actually use one of those scoring tools to break this mirror into about a one foot square pieces. And then each of those pieces uh, will be one piece of the bar. I'm just, make, I'm just making one to start because I want to make sure that the idea works, but if I really like it, I might collect more and build a second one later. Who knows? Uh, so the plan is to do two shelves and then behind them have that mirror and then in front of them to keep the liquor from falling off the shelf, I have these thin brass rods. And I think proportional to how small the little shooter bottles of liquor are, this is kind of a big brass bar. Like if you were to scale up the two of them, I think this would be like an inch thick maybe. So it's like a nice retaining bar that sits in front of the liquor and just keeps it from falling off the front of the shelf, you know? It's not really like even touching them most of the time. It's just there to hold that, that line. And then on either side of those, uh, on the ends basically, There'll be thicker pieces of, I'm using walnut. Let me show you the wood I've got for this. So I've got, oh, where is it? There's one. I've just spent the last hour and a half or so starting to prepare this wood. So this is a nice piece of walnut that I got from the, uh, the local lumber yard, hardwood, hardwood distributor in my area. And it comes uh, pretty friggin' rough. So I've, I have to spend quite a bit of time planing the faces, uh, jointing the edges, and just like basically just getting it ready to be used as wood. I got red lines on my face from my safety glasses. Should definitely got to wear those though. Uh, and then I actually have over here all of my lumber that I have uh, sitting out. Most of this stuff was bought I think over a year ago now because I haven't been out in the wood shop for like six months. The fact that I'm back out here again is a big uh, green flag for my mental health. Uh, speaking of which, the habit tracker is going great. I know I haven't been making very many videos for you guys, but it's because I've been busy doing other stuff. Like, if I was in bed all day and not making videos, that would be bad, but I'm out, I'm out having fun with friends. We're, we're, you know, we're on the diet again. I've been running through the... Uh, the fucking connections every day. What a piece of shit game that is. Uh, and I've been out here in the wood shop, uh, recording videos, editing videos, doing all kinds of stuff. 
uh, and most importantly, keeping up with uh, things at work. Uh, because as soon as you fall behind, oh man, it takes forever to catch up. So anyway, I got all this wood like a year ago, probably. I stickered and stacked it, and it's just been sitting here drying out. The thickest pieces are about eight quarter walnut down here. And then I've got some thinner pieces of uh, walnut. And then up there is white oak. Uh, this white oak is set aside for making an outdoor porch swing. And then the walnut is all for, well, most of it, is going to be used for a curio cabinet, a glass display case inside the house that Megan is going to use to display all of the big fancy miniatures that she has that are too big to go into the little cabinet she has right now. It took me so long to make it, she had to buy a cabinet to tight her over. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm out here working on. I got this, um, I'm planting down this walnut, and right now what I'm trying to figure out is how to best resaw on this little dinky bandsaw that I have. It's a six inch capacity, which, I mean, girls will tell you that's enough, but a little more than that, but you'll, you'll notice the difference. Uh, so what I've done is I've cut this four by four down. I've run it over the jointer to make a, a square corner. I don't know if you can see that right there. Not a very good angle. But on those two flat faces there, one will go face down on the table and the other will go on the side of the blade. And it essentially creates like a three and a half inch high straight fence that'll let me run this board through and actually resaw this because this is almost an inch thick and I only need about half an inch for the uh, either side of this little bar that I'm making. So I'm going to probably cut most of this off with the resawing and then I'll end up adding, I hope I'm not making you dizzy here, I'll end up using the other piece for the shelves because they're going to be relatively thin and have a little uh, like thickened runner along the front edge to help stiffen them. Basically running grain this way, you know, this way and then a little bit that way at the end. I managed to injure myself today. Oh, demonetized. This whole channel is not monetized. But uh, I don't even know what happened. I think a chip of something flew off of a uh, board while I was planing it and it just doinked off my knuckle and left a little ding there. There's kind of like a little flap of skin that's going on. <laughs> You may have noticed I also uh, trimmed my beard up a lot shorter. It's, uh, I think it's a better look for the beard, but a worse look for me because it just reveals how much fat I have on my neck. And I have such, a, I have such sparse hair in my beard that it, it really, if it's not really long, there's not actually enough to get like good coverage on the skin. Like this looks like, you can like see through it basically. I don't know, man. If there was one thing that I could change about myself, like, uh, like morphologically, I would want to have like the best beard, full coverage. Like, I don't even care if it goes gray or if it's like salt and pepper. I just want to have like the full filled in beard instead of just this neck shit that I have. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, th I almost just said I'm almost thirty. I'm thirty two. <laughs> you can see my mindset. Uh, I'm thirty two and I still can't grow a fucking beard. It's so annoying. Oh, uh, well, you know, everybody's going to have that thing that they, uh, that they wish they were different about. It's just unfortunate that so many of the things that, that are important to a lot of men are things that you really can't do much about, short of spending, like, thousands of dollars on surgeries. Like, I, I'm, I would never even consider getting, like, hair transplants or, like, the, that crazy, um, with the, where they break your bones, the limb, limb lengthening surgery. Because that's just like, that's just a step, a step beyond for me. That's how, like, that's beyond the pale. I mean, I, I was reading about that, that uh, limb lengthening surgery because I saw some TikToks of people who got it done. And it's, it takes like a year or two to recover from that. Uh, and the end result is you're like three inches taller. It's like, dude, is it really that worth that much to you? That you're willing to like be on your back and like struggle to walk for like two years out of your very finite life just so you can be taller for the years after that it's like i don't know man and, and it doesn't even like it doesn't even really make you taller it's like plastic surgery fake like your kids aren't going to be that tall 
you know it's like all these people who get nose jobs and then their kid is born and it's like well she you know she really doesn't have your nose it's like well yeah i got my nose on from a and drive <laughs> anyway i hope you guys are uh, are doing well hanging in out there i'm i still feel jet lagged from fucking daylight savings time started starting that's how screwed up my sleep schedule has been lately i'm sleeping regular hours and just waking up tired I don't know, man. There's only so much you can do for it. Let's see. What else did I want to tell you all about today? I think that's about everything. Um, yeah, we'll call it there. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll be sure to post an update when this thing looks uh, a little bit less like pieces of wood and a little bit more like an old-fashioned uh, American-slash-British bar or pub. See you then. <laughs>